You're watching ABC 7 News at 5 on your side. A woman hired to help those with autism instead accused of throwing a patient into a bathroom stall and hitting her in the head. That's right. The accused attacker is Sylvia Soga. She's now facing charges of assault after a confrontation at a local autism center. Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis is live there tonight with a story you will see only on 7. Kevin? And Leon, that alleged assault is said to have happened here at the Jane Salzano Center for Autism. We're told a resident with low functioning autism grabbed onto an employee's wrist and then started shouting the word man. Now, police say caregiver Sylvie Soga became so frustrated and so irate, she let her hands do the talking. Community services for autistic adults and children. It bills itself as a safe haven for those with autism, but police say employee Sylvie Soga shattered that promise. According to charging documents, Soga grabbed a female special needs resident by the shirt, throwing her into a bathroom stall and then into a wall. Soga is also accused of hitting the resident in the head with her bare knuckles before turning to an employee in training and saying, I will deal with her. I'm going to kill her today. Um, are you, Sylvie? Yes. Soga is now out of a job, living in this Rockville home, plotting a legal fight with prosecutors and police. Did that happen? Did you abuse a woman with autism? I never abused anybody, and my lawyer is taking care of it. Why are police saying you did abuse someone? I have never abused anybody. In fact, Soga hired an attorney last night. He told us on the phone she is adamant that she did nothing wrong. She didn't abuse anyone and did everything within the scope of her employment. Why would police say that you threatened know. to kill a woman with autism and threw her into a bathroom stall? I don't know. They will, they will prove it uh, to the court. I have never did something like that. Now, Soga's lawyer also told us the alleged victim had no visible injuries. He says that further proves his client's innocence. We did speak on the phone with the executive director of this autism center, but she refused to comment. We're live in Montgomery Village tonight. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News. Okay, Kevin.